It's Thursday, December 10th, and we are welcoming you back to our morning devotion. And uh, we trust that you're reading through the uh, reading plan that we gave you. Uh, if you did not get a copy of this, please go to our website. It's allaboutfamilies.org. Or maybe you're just tuning in and you would like to download a copy, or we could email you a copy, or there might even still be a printed copy around the church here somewhere. Uh, but we want to encourage you to be reading together with us every day. And uh, Pastor Mark and I have decided that we would read the verse and, and apply some of the principles of the verse uh, and not necessarily read the plan to you. You can do that on your own, and we would encourage you to do that. Uh, each of them leads up to the message that is shared on Sunday morning. And so the entire month from Thanksgiving Day until Christmas Day, uh, we are reading through the Advent plan, looking forward to the celebration of Christ and his birth, but also the return of Christ, the second coming, when the Bible says the trumpet will sound and the dead in Christ will be raised first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. And that's our anticipation of his second coming. The title today is Joy Finds a Way, and they use an illustration from uh, Yellowstone National Park, and uh, Terry and I have never been there, at least yet, uh, hope to do that sometime, but uh, the example they use is Old Faithful and the Geysers, and uh, we'll talk about that in just a moment, how that applies, but you know, there's a phrase, love will find a way. You know, the truth is, when you and I love someone or something, uh, we will do all that we can to accomplish whatever the need is or desire. And uh, that may be saving money for a special trip. It might mean sacrificing so that uh, you could go see someone or do something special for them. Uh, if it's your child and they're sick, uh, you will stay up all night long and then still go to work the next day uh, if need be because why you love them. And so love will find a way and we, we understand that. And as the devotional talks about today, uh, joy will also find a way. I want to read to you from Luke chapter 1. Of course, this is uh, the preliminary right up to the Christmas story in Luke chapter 2. And the passage is verse 46 through 48. But it, listen to Mary and uh, what happens in her life as she begins to experience the knowledge that she will be the, the mother of Christ, that she is the one that has been chosen uh, to bear this child and bring the Savior into the world. And Mary said, my soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. You know, there, there's a lot of truth in that. In fact, I even saw a Christmas uh, phrase that was used, and instead of Mary, M-E-R-R-Y, they actually use M-A-R-Y, uh, because why? She is the mother of our Lord, and uh, we don't celebrate her like some uh, faiths may do that, but we do celebrate her as the mother of the Christ child. And But the, the key of this is understanding her choice uh, to be chosen by God and to be announced in the way that it did. And then her response, her choice response. Mary said, my soul glorifies the Lord and my, re my spirit rejoices in God. There's the joy. Uh, God brought something unusual, miraculous, uh, instantaneous, all of the things that we describe about this, God brought it upon her life, and she responded with joy. And uh, I, I don't know about you, but, uh, you know, understanding the culture of the time, and even Joseph, right? He wanted to put her away privately. Uh, their culture at that time, uh, the engagement was basically a, a done deal. And uh, to put her away meant something like what we would refer to as a divorce. 
And uh, he was shocked at this and dismayed and didn't quite understand until God obviously revealed the truth to him. And so uh, you can imagine the response maybe at first or initially for her, and yet what does she choose to do? She chooses to respond with joy. And uh, she understood by faith the big picture and what God wanted to accomplish rather than choosing to allow fear to dominate her life. And so, you know, it's, it's unique, it's different, and it's uh, obviously not how you and I are maybe experiencing differences in our lives today, but uh, our response should be the same. You know, the Bible tells us to give thanks in everything and to rejoice in everything. And so joy finds a way, just like love does. And so what's in the depth of your heart will come out. Uh, you know, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so what's in our heart will ultimately come out of our mouth. And we, we pray uh, that there's good things down there so that good things come out. But uh, the same is true with joy. Joy will find a way out and it will rejoice. And the illustration of uh, Yosemite, or excuse me, Yellowstone and uh, Old Faithful, that geyser, uh, that it just cannot contain the heat, the pressure, and uh, ultimately it will blow. And uh, the same is true with joy. And so today there's people looking for joy. And you and I, because we're followers of Christ and committed to the Lord, uh, we have the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so let that joy out today. Find a way to communicate to someone else joy and let your light shine before them because they will see your joy and they will know that there's something different about you today. We trust that you will have a great Thursday and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. And this coming weekend, we're going to begin a, a modified version of our cocoa nights. We're not serving cocoa and cookies this year for obvious reasons, but uh, we are opening our church and allowing people to take invite cards and candy canes. And so if you want to come around, hang out with us Friday, Saturday, this weekend, and then the following weekend, 18, 19, 20, uh, from 6 p.m. to 8.30 uh, just a chance to encourage, love on, and be a light to our neighbors. And so have a great day.